second person who was shot arrived at a nearby hospital. As we learn more, we'll let you know. Thirty-year-old Eric Eugene Washington promised his mother, Corrine Goodman, he would do. All right, guys, what's going on? It's the Bayou City Report back here with uh, something positive, right on the southwest side of Houston in the A-Leaf neighborhood. Uh, I used to live, uh, and like I said before in another video, I lived in A-Leaf off of uh, Derry Asher and Bel Air. So the neighborhoods come um, quite some way uh, in a neutral sense. But anyway, uh, it looks like uh, a DJ Big Reeks uh, performed Saturday Spin at the A-Leaf Neighborhood Center's opening uh, celebration. Um, and it looks like it was a full circle moment, but... Hundreds of Houstonians attended the city of Houston's open house and surrounded the $58 million facility located at 11903 Bel Air Center or Bel Air Boulevard. Uh, where, and I've passed by there before. It's a beautiful facility. Um, and this is where musical entertainment was provided by school bands for the opening. The city has a population um, of A-Leaf, has a population of about 42,000 individuals, 17%. It makes up of white, 20% Asian, so that would be like Chinatown, etc. 28% uh, black, and then 30% uh, Hispanic. So a pretty diverse community in the A-Leaf uh, area. Um, and likewise, when you know when you go down there, you go to Chinatown. I mean, it's like right down the street, right? Uh, the new the the new community center is about 70,000 square meters um, in total so it's a pretty sizable area they have like things you know they have a skate park out there they got an outdoor pool sports field so they're really like you know they took an initiative to to put this facility in that area uh to serve the local community but now, like i said folks remember uh plenty of people are moving to houston so it's pretty important for the city to make sure that you know these areas are suitable for new families moving in now the center also houses um, the David M. Uh, Hennington A. Leaf Regional Library, right? The Houston Department of Women, Infants and Children, WIC Clinic. And then they also have a free diabetes and center, uh, senior services center uh, for the people. So they've really gone out of their way to make sure that this is a community friendly environment. Um, they will have patrolled police all through uh, the property, which I think is a safe idea. Um, now, what's interesting is uh, Reginald and Troy Thomas, which are relatives of District F Councilwoman Tiffany Thomas, described the center as a safe haven for the local community. They said, quote, we kids growing up knew that we could uh, come to this facility anytime or Quin uh, Quillian, excuse me, anytime because it was fun. It was a fun and safe place to socialize. OK, so. In other words, I'll just summarize all this is that these individuals um, really say that this is a community center that will allow the children to have something going on post education, post school, summertime, weekends, evenings, what have you. Um, I think it's a good idea. Um, anything positive in the city is a good thing. That's better than something negative, which, you know, you hear plenty about. Uh, but I feel like this was pertinent to give you guys uh, something positive about the city. This is the Bayou City Report. I'm out.